Hello, grade three. How are you? Are you good? I'm good. Do you know why? I have a cup of tea. Ah, it's very nice. So today we are going to look at unit eight again, because we have started unit eight. We are going to practice our places in the town. There are six, do you remember? Six places. Can you remember what they are? Well, if you can't, it's okay, because we are going to practice them every video. Then we are going to look at our three prepositions, where places are, the words that tell us where something is. There are three. We will practice them today, and then we will practice them every lesson. After that, we're going to look at six new words. The new words are vehicles. Do you understand the word vehicle? No? Well, that's OK, because today you're going to learn what they are. OK, so there are six in this video because there are six in the student book. So you can look in your student book and practice them. Now, there are more than six in the world. There are many, many, many. But in the book, we have six. So practice those six, please. That's it. There's no writing today. You do not need a pencil. You don't need any razor. You do not need your workbook. There's no homework. If you have them, wear your headphones so you can hear me and just follow along. Try and speak with me. OK, and that's it. Watch the video. I will see you later. OK, have fun. Here are our six new words for unit number eight. They are the places in the town. Let's have a look. OK, where is this? This lady has baked these cupcakes, lovely cupcakes. We can see bread. She's wearing white. What shop is this? Where is this? The bakery. Yes, the bakery. OK, number two. OK, you can read it there. What does it say? This is in America, in Thailand. It's red and white in America. It's blue and white in England. It is red and gold. So where is this? It's the post office. OK, number three. What can we see here? This lady has a dog and there is food for dogs and cats. And other things I can see toys at the back for animals. Where's this? The pet shop. OK, number four. Uh, look, if you read, you can see where this is. This is in America. Where is it? It's the fire station. Yes, the fire station. Ah, this is Thailand. Where is this? What are these blue and purple shops where we keep our money? The bank. Now, I must apologize. Cot hoard, no cap. Uh, in the last video, or the video before, I said that bank in Thai was Tanachad, which it is not. Pit. It is Tanakan, right? So I am sorry about that. I wasn't thinking straight, but now I am. So this is the bank. What banks are these? Krung C. Is it Krung C? What is the blue one? I'm not sure. And the purple one is SCB. I know that one. Okay. Last one. Ah, now, where is this? If you are sick, if you do not feel very well, you will go here. Where is it? It's a hospital. Yes, it's the hospital. So we will practice these six words every video, OK, until you know them, where you do not have to read the words. You can see the picture and you will go, oh, that's the bakery or oh, that's the pet shop. OK, we will practice these every class. OK, can you remember the three prepositions of place that we use to tell us where things are? So there were three. What was number one? Number one was next to. Number two, across from. And number three, can you remember? Between. So it's good to practice these because we will be using these a lot in unit number eight. 
Okay, practice, practice, practice. These are our new six vehicle words. Let's check them out. Number one, by bike. So we have this word, by, which is telling us how we use the vehicle, how we go somewhere using this vehicle, by bike, by subway. Does Bangkok have a subway? Yeah, it's called the MRT. By taxi. Bangkok has many, many taxis. <laughs> many, many, many. By bus. Lots of buses in Bangkok, all different colours. By car. Many, many cars all over Thailand. And on foot. On foot means to walk. You can find these pictures on page 84 of your student book. OK, now I thought it would just be fun to look at the different parts of the vehicles in English. Now, I am sure that you know them in Thai, but do you know these parts that make up the vehicle in English? Let's have a look. This is where you sit on the bicycle. But what is it called? Is it a seat or a chair? No, we don't call it that. We call it a saddle, a saddle. It's the same word we use for the thing we sit on, on a horse, a saddle. What about this? This is the, the body of the bicycle, but we don't call it a body. We call it a frame, the frame. Now, do you know these? Of course you do. Wheels, these are the wheels. On a bicycle, there is two. The part of the word bicycle or bike, B-I, by, this means two. By means two. OK, what about this part? This is the stand. When you put it up, the bicycle can what? Stand up. That's right. It's the stand. Now, this part is very important. This is where the bicycle gets its forward power from when you push with your legs. It's called the crank. And this part, what's this part called, do you know? It's the chain. The chain is what makes the crank turn the back wheel. OK, how about this? These are the handlebars. This is where you hold on with your hands and you turn left and right. Turn left, turn right. Do you know what these are called? They stop the wheel from going flat like a pancake. They're called spokes. And the last part is the part that holds the front wheel onto the bicycle. These are called forks. OK, so these are the main parts of a bike. So here's the subway. There is a subway in Bangkok. It's called the MRT, Mass Rail Transit. So let's have a look at the parts. Oh, here's a main part. This is called a coach. In some places it's called a carriage, but you can say coach or carriage. Now what's this? It's the automatic door. Now you know the word door. Automatic means it opens and closes by itself. People do not have to hold it with their hand. There is a machine and a computer that opens and closes the door. It is automatic. Where is this? This is where the train comes and where the people stand or sit down to wait for the train. Yeah, it's called the platform. The platform is the flat area that you stand on to wait for the train. 
how about this this is where the train is the train is inside this this is under the ground uh, what is it called it's a tunnel that's right this is the train tunnel okay this is at the front of the train and has all of the controls and the computer that make the train go and stop what is this room called it's called the cab the cab and who is this person yes it's the driver the train driver okay so these are the main parts of a subway I think we all know this the taxi many many different color taxis in Bangkok what are the parts of a taxi well this is the headlight the headlights are the big lights at the front of the taxi what about this what is this writing it says unseen Thailand this is this is telling people that Thailand is good for holidays this is advertising this is trying to tell people to come to Thailand okay what's this it's a number plate every car has a different number so we know which cars are owned by the people that drive them this is good if they are in an accident or if someone takes the car and tries to get money for it without asking the person who owns it every car is different very easy to find out whose car this is what about this metal shiny thing on the front of the car what's this called it's called a grill why is it called a grill yeah because it looks like a grill that we cook meat on like a barbecue that is called a grill okay what is this thing made of glass we can see through it so we we don't crash it's called the windscreen it's to stop wind blowing in your face when you are driving along easy there are four of these what are they wheels yes this is one wheel they are countable so if there are two or more we say wheels now what does that say wang service light this tells us if there is anyone in the taxi or if we can call the taxi is he free wang about well if the light is on then we say yes we can say taxi taxi stop please and this one is the roof sign the roof is the top of the car and then there is a sign on top that says taxi meter and that is telling us that this blue car is a taxi a car that we can get in and pay money to take us to where we want to go and these are the main parts of a taxi the bus this is a Bangkok bus the 509 I think this comes past Patai Udom Suksa I'm not sure but I think it I think it does anyway what is it it's orange it's big so what are the parts of a bus well we have the bus number the bus number you know it it's very important every bus has a different number the different numbers tell you where the bus goes it tells us where it starts and where it finishes and if you know the different numbers then you will know which bus you need to go where you want to go what's this it's the door yes this is a swing door it's two doors that open opposite each other so that in the middle when they open there's a big space for you to walk in they're quite loud when they open because they use air they go Pss. who's this man or lady could be a lady it's the bus driver yep 
the bus driver. OK, now we saw this on the taxi. What is it? It's an advertisement. Yeah, it's selling something. On our bus, it's Big C. And on the bus in the picture, I'm not sure, but it has oranges, maybe vitamins, vitamins, I'm not sure. But this is advertising. It's pictures that want you to go and buy something. Very easy. The wheels, they're very big, very heavy. <laughs> bus wheels are not small. Uh, what is this machine on top of this bus? Not all buses have this in Bangkok. Some do, some don't. What is it? Yeah, it's the air conditioner. It keeps us cool inside the bus. OK, who are these people? They're the passengers. Passengers are people on the bus who are not driving. So they are the people who are sitting on the bus who pay money to go somewhere on the bus. We call them passengers. Trains can have passengers. Your car can have passengers. A passenger in your car is anyone who is not the driver. OK, the driver is not a passenger. He is the driver or she. Everyone else in the car is a passenger. Passengers can be on aeroplanes, ships, buses, trains. OK. That's the bus. OK, so here is the car. This is a nice red car. What's this? This helps us to get music on the radio. It's the aerial. Yes, the aerial is needed to help get the radio waves down from the air into the car so that the car can play music on the radio. It also helps with our mobile phone if we are talking on the phone. OK, this is the door and the space at the back of a car. It's called the boot or trunk in England. For Tet and Crete, we say boot. In America, they say trunk. They are the same thing. You can put your shopping in there. You can put your bicycle in there. You can put your dog in there. It's very good space at the back of the car. Now, what is this? This is the side of the car near the road. You can pay to have different ones of these put on your car. Sometimes they cost a lot of money. Peng Mac Mac but they make your car look good. What are they called? It's called a skirt. Now, this is probably one of the most important things in the car. <laughs> if you do not have this, you cannot drive the car. It's a steering wheel. The word steer or steering means to make the car go where you want it to go. To steer means to make something go where you want it to go. Left, right, up, down. OK. And again, with all of these vehicles, they have wheels. Yes, they have four wheels and a fifth wheel, number five, in the boot in case one breaks. OK, a car has two of these, one at the front and one at the back. What is it? It's a bumper, a bumper. It helps cars bump when they hit something. And the same as the taxi. What's this? They're headlights. If you do not have these, driving in the dark is very, very dangerous. And the last one, what's this? This is great for Thailand because Thailand is always hot and sunny. Well, nearly. It's a sunroof. It's a window in the top of your car that you can open and you will get the air coming in. It also is glass, so if you close it, you can still see the sun outside. And these are the main parts of the car. Last one, on foot. Now, technically, on foot is not a vehicle, but maybe you think of your feet as vehicles but only you can use them. <laughs> Let's look at the parts of walking. So we need shoes or sneakers. These are very nice ones. I like these ones. Air Jordans, they're Nike. Now, 
most shoes or sneakers need these or else they f come off your feet they will fall off these are laces they are string that we tie up our shoes with so that they are tight on our feet okay now in this picture this person is wearing socks remember socks socks are good because they stop you rubbing your feet against your shoes so you don't get hurt also they are warm if it's cold uh, the big one what do we need if we want to go on foot somewhere yes we need feet without feet we cannot go on foot we cannot walk and where are our feet our feet are at the ends of our legs so these are everything we need to go on foot remember on foot means to walk same thing that's it i just thought we could do something a bit different so we have our six new vehicle words and i just thought maybe you could learn some more words in english about the vehicles the parts of the vehicles or maybe where the vehicles go where they are and your feet <laughs> Uh, keep practicing your six new words practice your six vehicle words please practice question number one which we have looked at and if you have not done it please try and do your video project okay oh <laughs> okay keep thinking about your video project um, and that's it have a very nice day. There is no homework and I will see you in the next class. Okay. Bye for now. Bye.